Father, we, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adorations, all the praises, all the thanksgiving, all the adorations goes to you, to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, who were created to glorify you, to praise you, and to worship you. We thank you for granting us the grace to stand before your grace and also your throne room of grace to give what is due to you and that's what we were born and created for in Jesus name and everybody say amen, amen. praise the Lord you can take your seats Greetings to you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Turn to the person next to you and say you look better than yesterday. You know, some people are jealous out there. When they will see you getting better, they become jealous. When you are worse, they are always there for you. They enjoy when you are going through difficult times. The moment you are out of it, so you are in the right place where you will be told the truth, not the fact. The world gives the fact and God gives us the truth. And the truth is what God wants to see and uh, you being and also doing. Amen. Amen. Wow. Are you ready? Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. So today we will talk about soul winning. Soul Amen. Amen. We are going to talk about soul winning. Praise God. Turn with me to the book of Luke chapter 19. Verse 1 to 22. You got it? Amen. It reads, Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector. And he was rich. Hallelujah. Amen. He was what do you call the person in charge of receiver of revenue? The top man? Commissioner. Tax commissioner. Receiver of revenue commissioner. So the Bible says Zacchaeus was a receiver of revenue commissioner. When you tell you some cool. And automatically it made him rich. Amen. Amen. Now the Bible is stating somebody's financial status here. Hallelujah. Amen. As Jesus entered where? Jericho. It was important for him to meet Master Rich Man. Before he can meet Master Poor man. Hallelujah. Amen. 2019. 2019. It's time for us to look for our Zacchaeus. Hallelujah. Amen. 
when we enter into a city when we enter into intercession we need to locate our Zacchaeus in the spirit hallelujah now I try to look for what Zacchaeus mean it means someone clean someone pure that's the meaning of Zacchaeus. My mind is wandering. Amen. Verse 3. Zacchaeus sought to see who Jesus was. Mr. Rich Man. Mr. Pure Man. Master clean man was not clean enough. I checked Second King Chronicles, Second Corinthians, if not mistaken, is it chapter 521? The Bible says Jesus became sin so that we may become the righteousness of God. So that we can become clean. So that we may become pure. That's why he's looking for Mr. Clean Man. Was he clean? No. <laughs> so therefore, by faith, Somebody called him clean man. As I started saying, when you go to someone, if you need to win a soul, don't arrive there and then you find them, they've hidden the bottles of beer under the coffee table. And start the prophecy from nowhere. Oh, I see bottles of beer. You will lose Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell them according to whom God has called them. Tell them according to what God had for you. There is a a teaching on what we call predestination. Predestination is exactly what God did. The Bible says Jesus was the lamb that was slain before the foundations of the world. God knew, in other words, that we who are the church of Jesus, who are the Zacchaeus, he saw us clean before we sinned. He became Waba. through his son sin Waba iso. before we sinned so that we may become Uguze the righteousness of God Sibe while we are still staying in sin. Sise this is what we call predestination. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, the wisdom of God, the wisdom of God is is beyond comprehension. Amen. Amen. I don't know if there is anyone like God amongst any other gods. No one can be compared to him. Turn with me in order for me to support what I've just said in Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. From verse 28 to verse 30. Hallelujah. And we know that all things work together for good. 
to those who love God. Not who love gold. God. You must love God first. There are different types of the meaning of love or different loves. There's what we call agape, which this is what we must love God with. There's what we call filio, which we, Jesus says, make friends with mammon, this is money, evil money or dirty money. Money is dirty on its own. So he says, make friends. In other words, do not love the money with the love you are supposed to love God with. You must feel your love, money. You must feel your love, money. Then you have got what we call eros. Love. Is the one that when a guy sees a lady, he gets not escom, but some form of Lord shedding. <laughs> it's a sign to say, there is still the love of a woman or a wife in you. So we have been built by God with these three stages of love. The highest form of love called agape, which is a God kind of love, and the second highest Love in us, which is the one that makes us to be friends with a car. Don't agape your car. Don't agape your money in your bank. Don't agape your house. Don't agape your wife or your husband. Did you get that one? Amen. So when you say, I love money, you will have to know with what love yeah, are you so loving the money. Amen. 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 You must eros your wife or your husband. Um, but don't agape your wife or your husband. Because God says, I am jealous of God. Besides me, there shall be no any other God. Hallelujah. Amen. So, for we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord God. To those who are called according to his purpose. We love God. If we love God, therefore we have got the calling of God inside of us. That's why we do what we do. That's why we say what we say. That's why we obey what he instructs us. It's because we love him. Not with filial, but with agape. They came and asked Jesus, which one is the greatest commandment? He said the greatest commandment is, you shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your strength, which means your assets. That's why the rich man, when he came to Jesus, because he agape his wealth, he says, which commandment I need to do, Jesus? You tell me. And Jesus says, ten commandments. He says, no, I, I knew this and I did it from my childhood. And Jesus praised him. He says, well done. Then he says, but you like this one. Hallelujah. Amen. He gave him the agape one. Because he saw the agape in the things he had. Because the Bible says he was a rich young ruler. And he waited to hear this new commandment. He says, go and sell everything and follow me. 
the young rich ruler because he idolized the blessings of God. He left without saying a word to say, I'm on my way out of here. He did not appear, he disappeared. And Jesus said to his disciples, because they were also rich, that's one thing we miss. He said to his disciples, how hard it is. How difficult it is. He did not say how impossible. He said how hard it is for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Then he says it is like a camel entering through an eye of a needle. Now I used to think uh, the eye of a needle is the one that you used to stitch my clothes. It was one of the gates of the temple of Jerusalem. It was called an eye of a needle. It was used to enter and exit the city which Jesus has entered and the first man he met was a nobleman called Zacchaeus. Why was it called an eye of a needle? It was one person at a time. And you could not enter it if you were carrying baggages. When you arrive it, into it, you have to first unload and you enter in. Then you take your baggage with you. If you enter with, you not enter So, then you understand why Jesus said and what he meant by saying, give away. The interpretation is for you to enter into the kingdom of God you can't come with things and load mzakes and then enter and then draw the things so that means the young rich ruler was not dead there was no difference between the wealth and himself. You could see him when he enters the church. That somebody is young, but he is full of himself. And God said, take that pride away. Take away that self. Jesus says, if anyone want to follow me, let him deny himself. And take his cross. What is denying? Let him unload of himself of self and put on Christ. Then he's worthy to follow me. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My prayer for the blessings that are on right now as we speak poured out from heaven is that they do not make a young, rich girl, daughter lady or man out of you. There must not be a difference between before you got married or before you were promoted. There must not be a difference between before when you were poor even and now that God has blessed you. There must not be the two yous. You must always remain the same. And if there is to be a change, you must decrease and let him increase. Don't increase. Because the eye of a needle you are able to enter. Jesus. Amen. Don't be Jesus. Don't become your house. Don't become the position that you have at work or in the business. You know when you enter? When the ushers sit there, Jesus. Be a child of God. Be 
There is a calling. This calling is not according to our mission. It's a calling according to His purpose. It's not our purpose. It's His purpose. We are not here because this thing is ours. We are just stewards over what God has entrusted on us. We must be good stewards. When the owner comes, he must find a return or profit over that which he has entrusted to us and he left one word for us all and he said do business until I come. Amen. So we are in business and the name of this business is called his purpose. Verse 29. The book of Romans chapter 8. For whom Hallelujah. Amen. For whom he for you. He also did what? Predestined, predestined to, be, to be conformed to the image of his son. Jesus. Amen. You are not a mistake. In spite of how your mom got you. In wedlock or out of wedlock. That does not exclude rape. There is nothing that justifies elimination of life. Amen. Because life comes from God. Not from men. So how you came to this planet does not change that God did not know you. He knew you before your mother knew you. He knew you before your grandmom and your dad knew you. He knew you before you landed in the maternity ward. He knew you before the foundations of the world. And he called you by name. That's Jeremiah. He said, before you were formed in the world, I called Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Amen. And here he says, I foreknew you and I called you Zacchaeus. Before you stole the tax money, before you took bribes, I called you kings. I call you pure. I call you the righteousness of God. I understand you. I want you to know that God's purpose is more powerful than your shortcomings. I like your attention. You look like soldiers. Amen. Let me repeat. I say God's predestination about your life is greater and more powerful than even your shortcomings of 2020. It doesn't matter how much you become something else than what the society expects of you. It does not matter how worse you can be called even after you have been sentenced by the highest court of the land. Ah, God's purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a man who wrote a song. This name of the song was an amazing grace. He was in a prison. Hallelujah. God's purpose. God's predestination. That way everybody was afraid of. He began to hear the sounds of grace. And he said, oh, see thy sounds. Ah. 
Amen. That saved a wrench like me. What an amazing grace. What an amazing grace. Jesus. Today this song is sung right across the world. A man is talking about a visitation of Jesus in Jericho. He found a man called clean but by the action he was unclean. The power and the grace of a man on top of a tree Amen. Yeah. Jesus. Sure. Hallelujah. This man also visited me too. I'm back. I'm back. I'm what is that? Joki Mosholo. I've never seen this agape. Died on the cross. Just for me. Yeah. Jesus. We must not forget where we come from. We must not forget the day. Hallelujah, the Lamb of Judah entered into our city. Entered in our countries. Ladies and gentlemen, Amen. the Bible says in Zacchaeus, there was a longing. There was a longing. There was a request for something better than mine. Hallelujah. You are wonderful people, you see people in amazing cars, amazing income. Inside there's a car for some better than There's a quest for gaiety. There's a quest for some divine. That money cannot buy. The Bible says he wanted to see Jesus. He wanted to see who Jesus was. Our greatest mission is to go and present Jesus. Our greatest mission to mankind and to the universe and ourselves Peter and John in the hour of prayer they found a man this man had money he was a beggar daily they gave him money but the more he gave the more he wants the more he earns the more death he makes there is something better than that that quenches our quest our quest our thirst there he says as the deer panteth for the water so my soul longs there was a longing in Zachariah I should go out there I want you to know that no matter what smiles they give their spirit is craving their spirit wants to know who Jesus is and present not yourself but Jesus alone. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. The man was rich. But he was poor in spirit. A trial Solomon says it all in the book of Ecclesiastes. His life is vanity. It's vanity. You work so hard. And at the end of the day, somebody comes and inherits it. And abuses it. And you lose your soul. Hey, man. 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 Hey, at the expense of our souls and our lives. As our schedules are busy, let's not do it at the expense 
of our time with our Creator. One day we shall account about how we have spent an asset called time which is a gift from God. Sure. Jesus. Jesus, amen. God predestined me as an apostle. In all my mistakes throughout the years, even today, He still calls me pure. He still calls me luscious. He still calls me clean. God tells Zacchaeus that you may be dead in the old time and in the eyes of the world. But God has predestined me. Hallelujah. Is clean by his blood, saved by his grace, powered by his spirit. Jesus. That's what salvation is all about. It's not by works, it's by grace. Amen. Sure. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He also predestined to be where well, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. Because when God created man in the garden of Eden, he created us in the image and the likeness of God. And so we lost it. In the garden of Eden. He had to send the second Adam. And through him. That's how he predestined us. Again to be conformed. To regain. The image. We lost. In the garden of Eden. And we regained it. Again, food in the Garden of Eden, called Golgotha, Mount Golgotha. It is believed that that place is the same place where the Garden of Eden was. It is the same place where Moses had a burning bush experience. It is the same place where God demanded of Abraham of his son Mount and the later stage it was called Mount Calvary. That's why Jesus because the mess was done in the same place he died on the place and he said the debts that you and me owed to God when he said the wages of a sin it is death then he said father it is finished the debt was paid in full oh, and God he does not have to do anything all you have to do you need to receive that which was already provided. Amen. He became a sin so that we may become the righteousness of God. Put on Romans chapter 8 verse 1. Romans chapter 8 verse 1. There it goes. There is therefore now, when, now, when, now. now. No condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit. Jesus. Go and tell Zacchaeus. Go and tell that there's no condemnation. You receive Jesus, the, 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 the debt is paid. You may pull the sentence in court, Amen. but with God, there is no judgment against What an amazing grace. What an amazing grace. Hallelujah. Amen. To be conformed to the image 
of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he predestined, this he also what? Called. Whom he called, this he also what? Did what? Justified. And whom he has justified, he also did what? Glorified. Jesus. Amen. What else do you want? I say, Zacchaeus, what else do you want? It was done before you did it. And what you are doing does not change it. I say it doesn't change it. That's how powerful it is. Instead, it will change you. I repeat, I said, instead, it will change you. What you did, what you do, and what he did, the most powerful thing is not what you did, it's what he did. He will change your deeds in the name of Jesus. There we go. Amen. What then shall we say to these things? What shall we say about these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. You, you mean Zacchaeus won't take this? He will be sick if he doesn't. As far as I'm concerned, this is irresistible. Stable. After all, what can we say to these things? And what we can only say is, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, who can... For us all, how shall he not with him also do what? Freely give us all things. Why do you doubt him? If he can give you Jesus. Why can't you give you a car? If he can give you Jesus. Why can't you give you a partner? If he cannot give you Jesus. Why can't you give you a job? Why should he hold these smaller things? If he gave you the biggest gift. Heaven has ever given to man. This gift is called Jesus. Amen. Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. Unka Jesus. Tatu Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Take Jesus. Tatu Jesus. You will hear when it goes on. Uzo uzo my kubek. It's nice this thing. Amen. He did not spare his only son. Azanga God was so in love with Zacchaeus. Waba no tando nga Zacchaeus. That his son did not matter. Zacchaeus mattered more. 33. Who shall bring charge against God's elect? I say, Zacchaeus, you have won election. David has voted for you. They're saying yes for life. Instead of death. Zacchaeus, you are a Jesus elect. You are God's elect. You are a heaven is elect. The finger of God is on you, Zacchaeus. The spotlight of heaven is on you, Zacchaeus. Sure. Jesus. Sure. Amen. Thank you, Who shall bring charge? Romans 8 1 says, Now therefore there is no condemnation. There's no charge against you. I said there's no charge against you. Grace says no charge. Grace says you are justified. All is well, Zacchaeus. Take it easy. Amen. 
Is it God who justifies? Who is he who condemns? Is it Christ who died? Furthermore, also risen? Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also make, makes intercession for us? Amen. Zacchaeus, Jesus is praying for you. <laughs> I say, Zacchaeus, Jesus is praying for you. He's not only your pastor. He's not only the intercessors. Jesus is praying for you. To see you through. You can't fail. Uh, you cannot fail. Zacchaeus. Doesn't matter what the devil throws you. Jesus is praying for 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 you. 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 You won't fail. You have what I call the backup of heaven on your side. If God is for you, who can be against you? Who can bring charge against you? He who have justified you? Ah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Christ who died. Furthermore, he's on the right hand of the, of the Father. He's also praying for us. 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Who? 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 Amen. Never doubt God's love. Zacchaeus, never Zakeu. doubt God's love. He has demonstrated it on the cross by giving his own name. His own name. Because I'm sorry. What else do you want to do? Amen. Amen. Sure. The song says, Jesus love me. Yes, I know. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus love me. Yes, Jesus love me. Yes, Jesus, love me for the Bible tells me. So. I believe it. You are called by Iloko. Ah, the devil is in trouble today. Amen. Ah, we have touched the gist of the gospel. Jesus. When things are bad in sex, I go back to the original. The original is God's love. Fill up your tongue. Hallelujah. Amen. Put on Romans chapter 5, verse 5 before we continue. I'm about to wind up. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Here goes. Now hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts. Yeah. By what? Jesus. By the Holy Spirit. Who was given to us. You'll never be disappointed. Don't worry. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Give God a big hand. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. 
Thank to God Jesus. be the glory. To God be the glory. God. To God be the glory. God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To glory be the glory. Yeah, man.